Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's tutorial is on this stunning summer inspired set with some gorgeous florals and hot pink and lettering. So if you want to see how it's done, just keep watching. So I'm going to be using the brand new Dixie Plates Summer 02 and this is the first time I've used it. This plate is full of beautiful images. On the bottom you have singular images and there is so many to choose from and then the rest of the plate is full of gorgeous designs, cocktail glasses, fish, rubber dinghies, floral images and leaves. I love this plate. And I'm also going to be using the Nail Stamping Queen UK glitters. The first glitter I'll be using is this beautiful pink and the second is these flakies. They are iridescent and absolutely stunning. I'll be using all the gel bottle ink colours today and the first one I'm using is Miami which is a hot pink. The next one is called Princess and this is a stunning baby pink colour. The next colour I'll be using is called Gossip. And this is a pale pink lilac colour, almost white. So I'm going to start off with Gossip and I'm painting that onto the ring finger. And I'll be applying two coats of gel polish to every single nail. So this is the ring finger and I'm just going in with Gossip first. So the next colour I'm using is Princess which is the baby pink and I'm using this on the baby finger and the pointer finger going in with one coat to start off with. And lastly, I'm going in with Miami, which is the stunning hot pink on the middle finger, applying one coat. And once I've finished that, I will cure the whole hand for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. So I'm now coming in with that second coat of gel polish and I'm applying all of the colours one after the other with their second coat. I will then cure this in my lamp for 30 seconds, ready for the glitter and flake application. <laughs> So going in with the gorgeous iridescent flakes, I'm going to be using this on the ring finger. I'm going to be using the Magpie Glitter Detailer Brush which is perfect for applying flakes. So I'm going to pick some of those up on my brush and I'm just literally tapping this into the inhibition layer. So the tacky layer of that gel polish and just patting it in making sure they lay nice and flat. I will then be using my Magpie Glitter Duster Brush and this is just to get rid of any of that excess glitter flakes over the nail making sure I've got no loose bits and just making sure they're all laying nice and flat. So on the middle finger, the hot pink nail, I'm going to be using this iridescent pink glitter and I'll be using my Magpie Glitter Applicator Brush, this I find is better for glitter and I'm just passing that onto that inhibition layer and burnishing it in with my brush. We'll then come in with the duster brush and just get off any excess product and that nail is done. Top coat both of these glitter nails for 30 seconds and I'm going to go in with stamping now. So the stamper I'm using is the Dixie Plates Double Diamond Duo Stamper. It's my favourite for seeing exactly where I want to place an image. And I'm also using my well-loved Dixie Plate Scraper. The stamping polishes I'm using today are from Clear Jelly Stamper and this hot pink is number 5. And then I have this slightly iridescent white frost colour. Apologies, it didn't have a number on it. But if I find the number, I'll write it in the description box down below. So I'm just using this I Love Summer writing image here in the bottom right of the plate and applying that on to the white flake nail and I think the contrast of the hot pink stamping polish to the white flake background looks absolutely stunning and as you can see on that love heart I did just my error of stamping miss the top corner so I'm just going in with a little detailer brush and filling in any gaps I missed that is purely my error not the stamping plates 
So on the baby pink nails, I'm going to be doing this gorgeous floral reverse design. So using that same pink stamping polish, applying it to the majority of that image on the plate, rolling over and picking up and then placing on the nail, holding down for a couple of seconds. When you do these whole image design, you will get some on the finger, so you could use a liquid latex barrier, but I never bother because I'm messy. So going in with that frosted white polish and I'm just adding some detail with a small dotting tool to the centre of those flowers, just to give them a little bit more detail and interest. I think it just finishes the floral design. I absolutely love this stamping plate, the image picked up so perfectly and I find with these reverse images where you've got a lot of polish they are hard to achieve a crisp look but you can see here how well it picked up and these stamping polishes from Clear Jelly Stamper I highly recommend too, they're some of my favourites, they're so highly pigmented and they stamp perfectly every time. So on the baby finger I'm just repeating that same process, adding that detail and the floral image and then I'm going to be top coating all of these nails. But before that I just like to go in with a really fine dotting tool just to break that seal of the stamping polish so that when you go in with your top coat you're not catching any in the polish. Sometimes I go in with a brush dipped in a little bit of acetone just to clean up around those edges to make sure it is nice and neat. I find that that helps when you're taking photos of your client's nails, they look that much more professional and that much more clean and neat. So after I've done that I will top coat these nails all twice and cure in my lamp for a full 60 seconds and there you have them, there they are all done. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this summary nail art tutorial, it's perfect for the hot sunny weather and holidays. Thank you so much for watching again and thank you to Kate Dix for sending me the gorgeous Summer 02 Dixie plate, I absolutely love it. And thank you to Sarah R from Nail Stamping Queen UK for sending me the gorgeous glitters, they're beautiful. Everything I used in this video will be linked in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out my Instagram at Isabel May Nails for loads of nail photos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!